Chinese culture, really. Uh, what has it been like getting here, uh, following that story, and how do you, how do you, you know, resolve something as big as that in, in the amount of time you have left? Where, where are our central pair at this point? Well, I think that, you know, the Journey to the West story, I mean, this is equally as much as it is the Odyssey as well. It's the hero's journey and the spiritual development of that path that you take in life. And so whether it's, the, you know, Journey to the West or the Odyssey or whatever, this is what Sunny is going through and this is what a lot of the characters are going through. And we are very loosely based on Journey to the West, we don't try to replicate the stories, but what we do try to replicate is the spiritual transformation and the mer metaphorical fights that happen with the Monkey King and what they mean to him as, as, as he changes as a person. And those are the things that we try to keep in. We're not trying to keep in the, the Journey to the West storyline. It's not like about bringing the Buddhist scriptures to the West. You know, it's not about that. <laughs> but it's about this, this journey that these people go on together to find themselves, basically. And I think that's really been amazing about the show is because that's what you as fans relate to. You're seeing all these personal journeys that everyone's going through, um, all, of, all of these characters. And you can find something that you can relate to because not all of you guys are fans of Sunny, I know that. Some of you are fans of Widow, some of you are fans of Tilda, some of you are fans of Gaia, some of you are fans of Lydia, you know, and there's personal reasons for that. And Alan Miles are brilliant in being able to show that whole range to all these characters and then keep this hero's journey going on at the same time. And I think that's the genius of the show. You know, other than the martial arts, other than the beautiful imagery and all that, it's the message that we're trying to tell you, the story we're trying to tell. I mean, you know, part of the genius of the show in telling that hero's journey is that it's this helix, right, of winding back and forth between Sunny's journey and MK's journey. Aaron, I mean, MK in particular, you know, where we kind of left him is in kind of a dark place. <laughs> What has the evolution been like of your character over the course of the three seasons? Uh, well, I think MK was always trying to find um, a place where he can identify himself. Um, I think he did that a lot with Sunny in season one as well as Tilda in season one. Um, I think he was trying to build a team around himself of people who uh, were like-minded, who had similar goals to him. Um, and I feel like uh, at the end of, of season three, as you're talking about, um, I was left in a place where I felt like all of that was gone, all the work and trust I had put into uh, Sonny and I's relationship and Tilda and I's relationship had kind of gone down the drain. Um, so I think in a sense, um, MK was kind of uh, losing faith in his cause in a sense, and I think that's why you see him uh, join forces with Pilgrim. Um, and uh, eventually, you know, it starts to totally shape the decisions he makes and, and the the group that he decides to follow, and he becomes a very powerful piece of, of the group. So, but his journey is also like very typical of any teenage boy's yeah. journey in life, right? <laughs> like you're trying to find the belonging in some group, and you get in with these people, and then they turn out to be douchebags, right? <laughs> and you go to this group, and then you're like, no, this is not right. And then, oh, these people are supposed to love you, but they don't. Like, where am I? And then, if you don't ever find that love, you become this, this, this destroyed person, right? And so that's his journey, is the search of finding himself. You know, and it's mm -hmm. kind of cool because he. Aramis, the person, is going through this journey also. And I, it was so beautiful to watch this guy turn into a, a grown adult over all this time. You know? and, 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 and Ali too, but, but his journey was so reflective of what he was going through in real life. It was kind of beautiful to watch this happen over the time, you know, over all the time that we were making the show. Daniel didn't kill my mom in real life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like your mom a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Uh,